Hello guys, it's your boy Path of Gaming here, bringing you another video of how to climb out of Platinum into Masters. In our previous videos, we climbed out of Iron and Bronze just by doing our initial five matches. We got placed in Silver, I believe, and uh, we skipped Gold relatively quickly. And now we've moved on to Platinum. We're playing with Diamond players. So here, obviously, we want our friend Kazix, which we managed to get. And now with Kazix, a two-star, or rather, level two, we just need to pop up, pop a RFC on him, and he will carry us. So. Ideally, I guess now Kazix is is the top thing you want to get. Obviously, a Graves is also great, but not if you're going for my favorite robot calamari build. So I guess we need to reduce the quality to make sure everything runs smoothly okay that's taking longer than expected but there we go it has been pointed out that the frames are low Just need some frontline tanks. You can also go mech pirate. I mean, uh, space pirate, not mech pirate. But uh, I think it's better, honestly. Since Kazix is the carry, we need something in the front. Giant Star is not what we're looking for. So we need something powerful in the front. Like Vanguards, like Brawlers. Hopefully this will be strong enough. So we can get rid of the Space Pirates. And we will either get Cybers Sorry, I, 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 I was just thinking. Okay, so we need something to engage the opponent while we clear his backline, correct? So the best way to clear his backline is by having two units in the front and letting our Kha'Zix deal with everything else. That's the best way to do things. Unfortunately, we did not hit anything. I'm not sure if Malphite or Jingjiao are stronger, but I think Malphite is a better tank. We have uh, a Rebel Star potentially as well. We need to check what they're doing. If there is a carry we need to snipe somewhere. Yeah, there's a carry we would like to snipe, so. We reposition so that we can snipe him. Okay, that was a bad repositioning, but it's four against three, so that should not be too difficult. And our Kaisa will take care of it. Nice. So that's definitely better. We have our brawlers ready. <coughs> we still want to jump on, on the Ziggs because the Ziggs is strong. 
Yeah, this is probably the strongest we can do right now. I will protect you. And we get rid of all of that. We could potentially level up, but I think that's unnecessary right now. We will level up next round, so we get the chrono bonus as well. So we distort them a little bit. Perfect. So this way, when Graves fires, we will only target one unit, not two. And we still lose this. We wish that Kaisa would have done a bit more damage. But if we can find uh, an Annie, that's what we're looking for, Annie right now. Or uh, RFC. But any would be would be the best, so let's grab the any if we can to get our mech going. Actually, armor is uh, very useful and Kaisa is useful as well. So let's get the armor. We might want to build a GA. Now if I had leveled there, I might have been able to win. It's quite likely, but I hadn't leveled. Oh, oh, oh I didn't level, so... Uh, 2, 4, 6, 7... No, I don't want to sell all that. I don't want to... I could go to 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 20. But we don't need the Kaiso with armor, so we will do that. Because we're selling the Kaisa, we don't need the Kaisa. We're not going uh, infiltrator build with with uh, four infiltrators, because that's significantly weaker in this patch. Now we get an easy opponent. Yeah. Actually, it's not. He's not as easy as I thought he would be. Especially since he's winning. Okay. Two star Jin Zhao. Um, we can. Do we sell? Yeah, we can sell this if we win, but we're not that likely to win. Yeah. We're quite unlikely to win, actually. Since everything seems to be beating us. But we will sell this if we win, just so that we get more interest. But I do like the fact that we had two wins and now we have. Uh, okay, now we have uh, three losses, obviously. But it's not that bad. It's not that bad, it's just 3 units. So he's at 78. Probably not with a win streak. Well, I'm at 84 with a 3 loss streak, so... I'm basically at 30 gold now, considering interest. So I will naturally level up here. There we go. I can put in Chrono. And I'm not that strong, so I will not be lazy, and I will build this properly so that gets hooked, and that gets focused first. I don't need any of this, so I will sell all of this and see what will happen. If I get some gold, I can possibly sell that, but I might not have to. I will also scout to see what they're building. This guy might be going mech, which is fine. So Minister L is who I will be facing off with. I have my orders. It's now we buy the one cost for the Kazakhs. So this is actually a good item on our Velkaz. So let's build it and have it nice and ready for our Velkaz. There we go. And there we go. So, we're getting relatively ready. We 
have uh, the two Chronos, the two Brawlers, and two Infiltrators. Obviously, we're cutting Kaisa, we're cutting Shen, and we're cutting Kazix, uh, Malphite. Sorry. Yeah. So the best way to do this is just to get the build up and running. There we go. Morelos is quite strong. We might kill one more unit and that's good enough for us. So there we go. We maintain a nice loss streak and uh, we're doing really well with our economy right now. And economy is the name of the game. Is he rolling down already? I hope he's not rolling down. I truly hope for his sake that he's not rolling down, but... Okay. So he's gonna lose a lot of HP. See, he's at 79. Just watch his HP. It's gonna drop a lot. Which I believe is unnecessary, but maybe he doesn't. So let's see. Minister L. He's at 79, I'm at 81. Maybe he wants to last week a lot more so that he gets far away on the carousel. That is something to consider. And almost lost just by one unit. Yeah, and he lost a lot worse than I did, as expected, because his board is very weak. And there we go, <laughs> looking for that Kha'Zix. And I can pre-level, so after the carousel I will be level 6 and I can get more units. Minister L is uh, yeah, he's doing okay. He's doing okay I guess. So right now I just want armor. Armor armor would be best. Tier also works. So armor, tier, RFC. Armor, tier, RFC. Or alternatively if I can get a rumble. But I think he'll pick up the rumble. So I gotta be able to get the rumble. And I should use this just barely. There we go. Perfect. That's how you want a lost streak if you're lost streaking. Just very like by a not like that. Not lose that much. I told you he would he would drop down very far. And he's at only 40 gold. I'm at 50 gold and I have a very nice lost streak going. So there's a fizz, which I don't want. I do want the armor actually. The armor is uh, highest priority right now. He's gonna get the fizz, or oh, I'm gonna get the armor. Now, I don't think that's the right play because you don't want a glove on the fizz anyway. So yeah, I think I think in the long like in the short run it's good for him. In the long run it's bad for him. We can build the Bramble Vest, and we can buy another Shen, Honor. and gradually work our way up to level 7. We don't need to rush anything, but we want to get to 7 eventually. Yeah. So again, I don't mind losing this, but I definitely don't want to lose by a lot. And we're taking out some crucial units. So that's dead, that's dead, and unfortunately, for some reason we win here. For some reason we win here. So now we want to win again. He's still falling and losing as expected. 
and I'm relatively middle of the pack. I got a mouth bite upgrade. And now what would I put in if I level up? That is that is always tough. Like leveling up is an option, but if you level up but don't have anything to put in, what is the benefit of leveling up then? Twelve. Uh, that's close enough to twelve, to be honest. That is close enough to twelve. Yeah, there we go. Um, I might as well put a tier on her because I'm selling her as a sort of aim. You will burn nicely. Okay. So that makes sure he doesn't have his, his lost week anymore. And I'm level 7 and I don't know what this guy is doing. He has a... Oh man, his items are just atrocious. And with those atrocious items, there's no way he can beat me. So in the, in the late game, it's just going to be very easy for me to kill him. Right now he's slightly stronger. I just need my Fizz and my Annie. Let's see how many he has. He has six Annies, a Fizz, six, no, eight Annies, three Rumbles, and Fizz. Okay. And there we go. So that's a lot of armors. So that's actually fine. There's a bell cost, great. It's really good. There's another Kha'Zix, amazing. Yeah, that's better than that. And there you go. Gradually building towards our composition. We're not afraid of losing a little bit early on. So we would still like to get a fish and an Annie. I wish he died. That's unfortunate. There's the Annie. There we go. Just need a Fizz. Ezreal. Ezreal is something that can be played in this composition. So we shall play him. Okay. As I mentioned before, losing by a little bit is nothing to worry about. There we go. Would be nice to get something we need. One more roll. Oh, very nice. So we shall keep rolling. And there we go. Ready. Unfortunately, we did not put the Bramble Vest on it fast enough. But that's okay. So, 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 so. Somehow we got the W. 
That's uh, a bit unexpected, but we will take it. And uh, we would like to have a RFC, I guess. So either a tier for Velkos. Oh, there's a tier and there's a Velkos. That's that's generous. That is very generous. So that gets our Velkos there. The fun part is building the composition and making sure it all kind of fits together. So we take out, obviously we take out the Ezreal for now, we put him back in later. Check on this guy, he has uh, Annie almost 3 starred Rumble. So hopefully, we get uh, another Rumble. Or rather, Fizz, since Fizz is an infiltrator. There we go. And that's the final composition. With a flexible spot over there. Yeah. So, as long as our Velkos stays alive and spreads morels nicely and our Cho'Gath is helping nice and easy There we go! Now, because Vanguards are everywhere and everything is everywhere and everything is strong having a composition that does pure damage is even better. So we played against Z1 and Oof and LX. So now we might play against one of these two guys. This guy and this guy. Okay, so we definitely want to pull that or that. So we have that right place. Protect the Velkos. And do either of them have infiltrators? No and no. And we pull that here. Just in case we play against the guy with Blitz so that he, he makes. Yeah. I gotta make sure that he looks... Wow, okay. That was not what we wanted. And we might lose because of this. No, but we're fine. Yeah, and the reason why we're fine is because... We have way too many carries. Or well, not way too many carries, but... Like, we have... Enough different units carrying... <laughs> we have enough different units carrying that... Okay, so just remember... Okay, I gotta remember Ufus, 1x, you, okay, I'm not gonna remember those guys, so it's fine. We just slowly start leveling here. Get rid of all of this. There we go, and yeah, next 5 1 we put in Ezreal. And we remember U, Z1, and Ufus, Ufus. U, Z1, so we were I was playing either this guy, this guy, or this guy. Okay, so that guy is probably the strongest, so I need to put that for him. Another GA, okay. So Kha'Zix is relatively fast. And we have got another GA, so that's going on Cho'Gath. Just by the one cost, make sure we have our units in. If we upgrade that, we'll put that in. There's another Cho'Gath, great. Malphite, sure. Mech Pilot, and we sell that, and we put that on the Cho'Gath. There we go. Okay, we, we definitely knew that this build is a lot stronger than ours, so that's no surprise that we lost. <coughs> so we roll down a bit more for some upgrades. There we go. There we go. 
Ezreal's was not doing much, this is stronger. Now that uh, Velkos is safe... And that is a nice buff. Aurelian Soul. There we go. There's a Choga. So essentially, we just want to protect. We might be playing against this guy, so he has it here and here and here. So by putting, by tucking him in here nicely, he should be relatively safe. And we got our three star Kazix. Is definitely gonna help carry the game so that's not likely but we should strive to get the Velcons stronger and yeah that's how you take out the guy not playing mech 10.9 he's playing mech 10.8 So we want more physical damage for our Kha'Zix, because I believe the Kha'Zix is the one carrying. Yeah. So Kha'Zix is the carry right now because he's 3 starred And as I always mention, you need to figure out who your carry is. Velkaz might be the carry, Cho'Gath cannot be the carry. Wukong cannot be a carry. Now getting another Wukong can help. The stars compel me. But this Kha'Zix should definitely get some damage in there. So we just played against Israel and Skaza, so we might play against this guy. Okay, so he has a hook, okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah. So we're playing against the top dog. Let's see how well Kazakh can take down the Lucian. And the Lucian and the Kazakh is taking everything down. And what Kazakh doesn't take down, the rest of the team takes down. There we go. So now I guess we just save up. Okay, he has a Wukong 2. Oh, two of Wukong 2. Wukong 2. See, that is. There's no point getting. That's one thing which I sometimes mess up as well. There's no point upgrading a unit which does not have any items. Okay, that doesn't help if I'm playing against the Dark Star guy. Which I'm fortunately not playing, so I know I need to reposition for him better. Somehow our Velkos got grabbed. But he still manages to 40. And that's the loss, unfortunately. We need to better defend our Velkos. So that is not ideal positioning, so... Yeah, there we go. So we want to grab whatever's over here to protect the Velkos, and then if someone wants to grab the Velkos, <coughs> it's protected from the front and from the back. Quick, quick, in interest, 
There we go. And there's Hand of Justice, 770 damage. If we're <coughs> lucky, it'll do double that or plus 50%. So we just played. Okay, we haven't played this guy. Okay, so he's positioning for us. So we shall reposition for him. And yeah. I mean, he repositioned for us, so it's nice of us to reposition for him, it's only really fair. For finish as promised as advertised now we don't want that hooked so that's safe that's safe against that safe against that too now we want to kill the Lucian as fast as possible so we will jump right next to him or we can jump yeah we can't really jump on top of him so we will jump on there yeah we want to get the Lucian if, if we're playing against him let's see who we're playing here, yeah, so now the Velkos is safe. So the Velkos is protected, the Kazakh is taking care of the back line. The Kazakh is respawning. And yeah, so now we can just put something on the mech. There we go. So now we're looking for items for the mech. And also, now that we have enough gold and there are still people around, and they're getting relatively strong, no one is buying the Velkazes. So let's roll down for Velkaz. And this is quite unfortunate. But we only got one. One is definitely better than none, but uh, we could get more. So everything has the rails on it. And there we go. So now we want something for the mech. This can be nice for the mech. I guess someone's going to pick that up. If they're not, then I will. I guess, uh, yeah, they don't value defensive items as much as I do. Frozen Heart on the mech, I think is decent. I think it's it's a decent item. I mean, I wouldn't build it myself, but if I get it for free, I'm going to use it. Uh -huh. Belkos is just there we go there we go so almost have him and I think we're still protected and uh, after this we will reshuffle yeah everything should be on fire lost this just barely but that's okay we're still in this so we just played that guy let's roll for okay now this is a bait you don't get baited because you're trying to three star one unit at a time so I just played this guy I should play that guy now he's hooking he can hook this. I don't mind whatever he hooks, but this needs to stay safe. Yeah, as 
one of the Velkar's forces. Everything will go. Okay. So I secured myself a second place. This can go on the mech as well, because it's, um, well, it's at least some stats. Now I need to reposition carefully against this guy. He's hitting a Sarah, so that's not that strong. And are there any upgrades I can get right now? I don't think so. The Choga or uh, Wu, but neither of them are happening. So now it's just about positioning. It's just about positioning. You might forget about this. So if he puts that here, then I just hit all of that. That's perfect. He has two woos. So he does not have any infiltrators. So I want this here to be safe. Just to be able to hit everything. Actually, that can get hit by that. And I think this is the... Oh, wow, okay, you need it there. I forgot that he has a Blitzcrank, yeah. So we need to put something to protect our... Yeah, so we move it there. So then how do we position this so that it doesn't get hurt? Yeah. There we go. So that'll hit that. Perfect, look at that. So he grouped everything up, so that gets hit. That gets pulled in, and Belkar just clears everything. And there you go, there's Robot Calamari for the win! I mean, it's a fun composition, strong composition, and you gotta play it more often. I think I just ramped up, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Take care.